The truth is that understanding this question is like interpreting modern art. Everyone sees something different and you're left wondering if even the artist knows what it means. Here you're presented with the 3 by 3 matrix. Matrix has numbers inside. Starting from the left column, the numbers are 49, 64 and 81. In the middle column, the numbers are 16, 36 and 64. And in the right column, the numbers are 81, 16 and then comes the missing number, which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 0. Choice B, 1. Choice C, 4. And last but not least, choice D, 9. Feeling a bit perplexed? It's all good, whether you're a regular art master or dropping by on this channel occasionally to become smarter and learn some cool ideas, I am confident in your abilities. You're on the right track. Just give yourself enough time to solve this challenge. Are you ready with your solution? Let's go on the journey together as we navigate through complexities. Your solution is invaluable, so don't forget to drop it in comments. Ideas in your solution could be the missing piece we're looking for, plus it can help us all learn. To solve this challenge, we need to understand the pattern. And the pattern here is that calculations are organized by rows. Digits in the left column are used to calculate the values in the middle column and in the right column. Let's look at the specific examples. As I already mentioned, the number in the upper left corner is 49. We use two digits from the 49, 4 and 9, and we use them separately. Then we square them. 4 squared equals 16, which is the value in the middle column. And then the 9 squared equals 81, which is the number in the right column. Same way we do calculations in the middle row. 6 squared equals 36, and 4 squared equals 16. Using the values in the bottom row, we can calculate the missing number. 8 squared equals 64, and 1 squared equals 1. So the correct answer here is choice B, 1. This particular test question is very tricky, but through the simplicity. Understanding this question is like trying to assemble IKEA furniture without the instructions. Sure, it might work eventually, but expect a few leftover screws and a sense of confusion. You are presented with the equation. 8 multiplied by 13 minus square root of 64 and you need to calculate the result of this expression which should be selected out of four possible choices choice a 96 choice b 98 choice c 102 and last but not least choice d 104 seems confusing right <laughs> but whether you're a current subscriber actively tackling these questions or someone contemplating a subscription in the future I have complete faith in your ability to overcome this challenge. Just make sure to grant yourself sufficient time to complete this question. Are you ready? I am going to continue this adventure. Let's navigate the complexities together and exchange the solutions. Believe it or not, your opinion counts and your insights could be the key to unlocking the mystery here. Before showing you the solution, I want to challenge you. Obviously, there is a typical way of solving this equation, but there is also an easier and faster way to solve this challenge if you use common sense. Can you figure it out? Well, the typical way to solve it would be multiply 8 by 13 and then subtract the square root of 64, which would be 104 minus 8 and the end result of this would be 96. But I mentioned to you that there is a faster way to solve it, especially in your mind without the calculator. All you need to do is take a square root of 64, which would be equal to 8, and then you realize that you need to multiply 8 by 12 instead of 13, and the end result of this is 96. So the correct answer here is choice A, 96. I gotta tell you with full certainty that solving this particular problem feels like trying to convince a toddler that nap time is a good idea. A constant struggle with no clear end in sight. Well, the good thing is there is end in sight with this particular question. But let's start with the beginning. You're presented with unusual looking shapes, the combination of circles and triangle. Each shape has seven numbers. In the first shape, the inside numbers are 5, 2 and 7. The outside numbers are 2, 3 and 4, and then the middle number is 5. 
In the second shape, the inside numbers are 7, 9, and 8. The outside numbers are 5, 6, and 7. And the middle number is 6. And then in the third shape, the inside numbers are 5, 6, and 8. The inside numbers are 3, 7, and 1. And the middle number is missing, which is something you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 6. Choice B, 7. Choice C, 8. And last but not least, choice D, 9. Don't get discouraged here. We support each other in this channel. Whether you're a current subscriber actively tackling challenging questions or an occasional visitor trying to learn new skills and considering a subscription in the future, I have full faith in your ability to solve this problem. Just make sure to grant yourself enough time and think out of the box. Are you ready? I know that you solved it already on your own, but just in case, I am going to continue this adventure. Let's navigate the complexities together and exchange solutions in the end. If you have a better way to unlock this mystery or have any tips on how to solve these types of challenges, please share them in comments. Here's the tip for you on how to solve these types of problems in the future. Because we have inside numbers and the outside numbers, you need to group them and do the calculations. In this particular case, you need to group the numbers on the inside and outside and apply math formula to individual numbers in the groups and to the groups themselves. Let's look at the examples. For example, the first middle number 5 is calculated as the sum of inside numbers 5, 7, and 2 minus sum of the outside numbers 2, 3, and 4. 5 plus 7 plus 2 minus 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 5. The calculations for the second shape are very similar. 7 plus 8 plus 9 minus sum of 5 plus 6 plus 7 equals 6. Let's calculate then the missing digit. 5 plus 6 plus 8 minus 3 plus 7 plus 1 equals 8. So the correct answer here is choice C, 8. Get ready to flex those brain muscles. This question is making you to think harder than a coffee addict trying to function without their morning brew. Can you sip your way through this mental maze? You are presented with the ball, which falls on the stairs, and with each fall, it changes the number. The numbers starting from the top are 2, 6, 14, 30, and then comes the missing number, which you need to determine and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 56, choice B, 60, choice C, 62, and last but not least, choice D, 64. Being an existing subscriber and going through these types of questions with us regularly or potentially considering to become a future subscriber, I have full confidence that you can solve this challenge on your own by giving yourself enough time to think about it. Are you ready? I am going to continue this adventure. So, get set for a fresh wave of intellectual exploration and your freshly brewed coffee as we delve into the intricacies of this amazing question. As you might be well aware, to get to the answer for this particular question, you need to understand the pattern. And the pattern here is that the next number is calculated as previous number multiplied by 2 with addition of 2 to the result. Let's look at the example. For example, the number on the ball when it's on top of the stairs is 2. As it falls to the next step, the calculations are when you need to multiply 2 by 2 and add 2. So the end result of this is 6. As ball continues falling, you need to multiply 6 by 2, add 2, and the end result of this is 14, which is the next number. As we continue, 14 multiplied by 2 plus 2 equals 28 plus 2, and equals 30. To calculate the missing value, you need to multiply 30 by 2 and add 2, which would be equal 60 plus 2 and equals 62. So the correct answer here is choice C, 62. You know, I was recently surprised to learn that it takes three contractors to install a light bulb. Why? One would do the work and the other two will give him tips on how to do the work better. This is why I decided to give this type of problem to you to solve it on your own. But I simplified it a little bit. There are only two contractors here. 
So, two contractors worked on the project and earned together $1,400. First contractor worked for three weeks, and another contractor worked for four weeks. Assuming they've earned the same rate, how much did the first contractor earn? You need to calculate and select the answer out of four possible choices. Choice A, $200. Choice B, $500. Choice C, $600. And last but not least, choice D, $900. Embark on this contractor management project solo, and when you've unraveled the mystery, post your answer in comments. I will be there to share with you my feedback. Thanks for participating, and good luck solving this intriguing question. Solving this challenge reminded me of an old joke. The car set to the plane. They say comparing our speeds is like comparing apples to oranges. And the plane's response was, well, at least I'm flying high while you're down there dealing with the traffic jams. With that in mind, here's the problem we need to solve. A car takes three hours to travel 210 miles, while a plane covers 1,260 miles in two hours. By how many times is the plane faster than the car? And you have four choices to choose from. Choice A, six times. Choice B, seven times. Choice C, eight times. And last but not least, choice D, nine times. Joking aside, I gotta tell you, whether you're a current subscriber actively tackling challenging questions on this channel, or an occasional visitor trying to learn new skills and considering a subscription in the future, I have complete faith in your ability to overcome and solve this challenge. Just be sure to grant yourself enough time and think out of the box. Are you ready? I have full confidence that you've solved it on your own, so I'm going to continue this adventure and share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments so we can all learn. Well, if you know a little bit about origins of this joke, you know that you can't compare apples and oranges. So to find the difference in this problem, we need to calculate the speed per hour and compare the speeds of plane and the car. The car speed can be calculated as 210 divided by 3, which would be equal 70 miles per hour. The plane speed can be calculated as 1260 divided by 2, which equals 630 miles per hour. So the difference between plane and the car would be 630 divided by 70 speeds of the plane and the car, which would be equal to 9, which means plane is 9 times faster than the car. So the correct answer here is choice D, 9. It's a puzzle time, and this one is more perplexing than teaching a goldfish how to play chess. You're presented with 4x4 four four matrix. One of the values in matrix is missing. The values that's there are, starting with row 1, are 7, 2, 1, and 9. Row 2 has 8, 5, 0, and 3. Row 3 has numbers 4, 3, 1, and 7. And row 4 has numbers 5, 2, 0, and then comes the missing number, which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 1, choice B, 2, choice C, 3, and choice D, 4. Examine this problem closely to see if you can get to the correct solution. Are you ready? Let's dive and unravel this enigma together. I'll share with you my solution, and obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. As usual, the trick to solve these types of challenges is to detect the pattern. To help us detect the pattern, let's break down the 4x4 matrix into columns and rows. Let's number rows as 1, 2, 3, and 4, and let's number the columns as A, B, C, and D. What's unusual about this puzzle is that values in column C Define the sign for math operation. The value 1 is equivalent of addition, and value 0 is an equivalent of subtraction. Once you know this rule, you can calculate the value in column D based on the math operations to the values in columns A and B. Let's look at the example. To make it easy, let's substitute the numbers in column C with the math operations. The operation for row 1 would be plus, 
which is addition. 402 would be sine of minus, which is subtraction. 403 plus again, and 404 minus. To calculate the values in row 1, we need to add 7 plus 2, and the result would be equal to 9. Value for row 2 is calculated as 8 minus 5 and equals to 3. For row 3, 4 plus 3 equals 7. Let's do the math now for the missing value. 5 minus 2 equals 3. So the correct answer here is choice C, 3. I have an amazing question for you, but I gotta warn you. This particular test question is rather tricky. It's like trying to fold a fitted sheet perfectly. You think you've got it, but it ends up crumpled mess and nobody has the answer. You're presented with three pyramids. Each pyramid has three numbers on the outside and one number on the inside. For the first pyramid, the numbers on the outside are 27, 16, and 33. And then the inside number is 16. For the second pyramid, the numbers on the outside are 25, 34, and 46, and the inside number is 15. And for the third pyramid, the inside number is 14. Numbers on the outside are 34 and 47, and the missing number you need to determine and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 52. Choice B, 53. Choice C, 54. And last but not least, choice D, 55. Here's the thing. You need to embark on this mental adventure solo, and when you've unraveled the mystery, post your answer in comments. Share your triumph for our collaborative discussion. I'm excited to learn about your solution and offer my feedback. I have full confidence that you can do it. Thanks for participating, and good luck in solving this intriguing challenge. Let's dive into an amazing cognitive assessment test question that not only enhances your analytical abilities, but also improves your valuable problem-solving skills you can apply to solve real-life problems. You're presented with three squares, and you need to determine which square comes next. The next square should be selected out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the solution. Well, after close examination of all the choices, I think I got my answer. And I'm ready to unravel the problem-solving techniques together with you. I also think I have a tip for you on how to solve these types of challenges. And obviously invite you to share your brilliant ideas on how to solve it in comments so we can all learn. Our goal is to get to the solution in four simple steps. Let's start with the step one. In step one, we need to analyze the original sequence of squares to find the pattern. Let's take a close look at what we have. Even though all objects are squares, the two squares are 4x4, four four, and the third square is 5x5. Five five. We also can see that all shapes have alternating colors. But you can see that the first shape starts with the darker square in the upper left corner, and the second square starts with the lighter square in the upper left corner. Now it's time to go to the step two. In step two, we need to visualize the final shape. Based on what we've just learned, our final shape should be 5x5 five five in size with alternating colors and should have a lighter small square in the upper left corner. There are two choices that match this option, choices B and C. Let's jump to step three and eliminate the incorrect options. Let's closely look at options B and C to examine options that are incorrect. As you can see, the option C is incorrect because the choice D2 is the extra dark object, which creates a cross. And this leads us to step four, where we need to verify our answer. Once we've determined that what we believe is the final shape, let's double check it by comparing to the provided choices and ensure that it matches the pattern and colors to complete the shape. As you might have guessed, the correct answer here is choice B, because it matches all the criteria and continues the sequence. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you for helping us to become one of the largest YouTube channels to help people become smarter, increase your IQ, and to pass any test. If the content of this video was helpful, please make sure to click the like button to help YouTube algorithm promote this video and help other people to find it faster. Giving us a like is also a way for you to tell us that you need more content like this, and when you tell us, we will deliver it for you in the future. For links to free and premium resources, 
please check the description and comments of this video. You can also go directly to our website howtoanalyzedata.net to download the materials related to this topic. I really appreciate your endorsement, support and patronage of this channel. And thank you for considering to become a member and considering to subscribe. Please leave feedback, suggestions or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.